Yes, lads, welcome back to another tactics video on the channel. Today, we're taking a look at the flat 433. Let's get into it. Does your team look like this? Do you struggle to complete those game changing SBCs and play with the best players in FIFA 23? If you said yes to any of this, then you need to get over to AOA and secure yourself some cheap and reliable foot coins and use code ALP at checkout for an extra 3% off. Jeez. So diving in with the defensive style, we do leave this on balanced. However, it defends in a flat 4-4-2 when you lose the ball because that is by far the best way you can set yourself up to defend this game other than obviously a five back. So it's perfect for that. It kind of plays like a 4-3-2-1, but just with wider um, center forwards, which is pretty sick. But anyway, width, we whack this down to 35, nice and tight. And the way we go at defending in a 4-4-2, 35 is perfect because it spreads nicely across the midfield. Depth, we wire cap to 65. I'm not overly comfortable at the moment to put it on 70, but definitely play with this. And as you get more comfortable, increase your depth. But if you need to start on 55, 60, 50, whatever, until you're comfortable, do that. You have to basically use this as a um, to gauge how comfortable you are with pressing high. So if you need to do lower, do lower. Build the players balanced and direct passing, the best in the game. Don't let anyone tell you anything. Otherwise, it is phenomenal. Lob it on. If you if you take one thing from this video, make sure you take this. Width, we leave on 50. It attacks quite wide anyways, because it's a 4-3-3. They do come inside a little bit and we get some uh, width from the wingers. So 50 is perfect. Players in the box, work up to six. Does help. With that, um, our offensive centre mid and our wingers get into the box to support our striker. Corners, one, free kicks, one, just to limit those counter-attacks, especially when I'm playing, I'm playing, obviously, the elite division. It is a bit hellish, so the counter-attacks are super strong, so we do avoid them at all costs. So how we have it set up, striker is stay central, getting behind, as always. Kylian Mbappe is the perfect man for this. And um, but well, you can use lots of strikers now after team of the season, but Mbappe is a perfect man. One of your wingers is going to come back and support with the midfield when you don't have the ball. For me, this is Rafinha. So the left winger for me is come back on defense, cut inside, get into the box for crosses. So when we're attacking, he's coming inside next to Mbappe and getting into the box to support with the play, give us options. But when we're defending, he's defending in front of Balde and next to Renato Sanchez. Because Rafinha is coming back, Renato Sanchez is stay back while attacking and cover center. And then Fafana also stay back while attacking and cover center. And then Pedri, our attacking center mid, is just on cover wing balance. So he's going to get forward, get involved with the play. He's almost going to play like a cam at times. Um, so notice now, when we're defending, because Pedri's cover wing, he's going to be in front of Klaus. Fafana and Renato Sanchez are going to push into the middle and defend in front of our centre-backs, and then Rafinha is going to drop in to comp complete that four-bank. Sanchez is on stay forward, cut inside, and get into the box of four crosses. Um, so basically, he's going to be quite close to Mbappe the entire time. It is good to have the winger with defensive stats like Rafinha. You know, he's got like mid-60s, so he can put a foot in. He's got good physicals, much better defending than Alexis Sanchez, and he's high-high, which does help. Um, but you can use virtually anyone for that. If you've got three players like Mbappe up front, then it doesn't hurt. If you have like Jarzinho coming back, it's not going to make a difference. If they've got some physical stats, that would be helpful. So that's how you set it up. If you want the right mid to come back or the right wing to come back, you flip this around. So Pedri would be cover center and Fafana would still be cover center, but then Renato would be cover wing. So you just kind of flip it if you want to do the other side, if you want the right wing to come back. Center backs, I will find you if you change anything with your center backs. And I will. I will put you in an headlock. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus is stay back while attacking and overlap. Obviously, if we do need to, we can trigger the runs um, with LB or RB or whatever. But you can send your fullbacks forward with up and left on the D-pad and up and right to hug the sidelines. Although with a 4-3-3, I don't really recommend to use up and right to hug the sidelines because um, I don't know how that impacts the wingers and we do need them to cut inside. And then we have one fullback um, on balanced and overlap. So when Rafinha cuts inside... 
Alde is going to occupy this space and defend for us, which is super important. Um, it just gives you an extra option and outball, and Balde will be the best man for the most part to give that byline to look for those cutbacks. And then, oh, also, it doesn't matter which fullback you have, go forward. So if you want your right fullback to go forward, have him go forward. If you want your left fullback, go forward, have him go forward. It doesn't make a difference to how the formation works. Goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. It'll save you now and again. Not overly game changing, especially when it's air descent. He's a bit garbage, but it'll help you out now and again. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video because we have some bonus content. We have not one, two team of the season league unpacks, as well as our red one of five elite rivals red pick. So stay tuned. So we're going to jump straight into a game. We've actually finished all of our foot champs. This is the squad pretty strong um so we're going into uh, elite rivals <laughs> this is probably the worst game mode to test or play with any formation there isn't five four one or three four two one because we are playing all the sweats all the time and it's so much fun. so much fun but you know it's a perfect way to test these formations this formation pretty much plays like a four 3, 2, 1, but with the forwards a little bit more spread. So it's very nice. I like it quite a bit. Um, I've not really spent a lot of time using the flat 4, 3, 3 this year. But honestly, just, oh my God, he's coming crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been really good. I, I think I've used every single 4, 3, 3 now. Oh. Nice. So you're going to see it's like, it's set pretty much the same as that 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, I don't know what he's playing. It looks like he's playing a 3 or 5 back. It could be 5. I can't really tell. In that. Oof. Your two Afros are on there. One's Dinho. Mm, I think, I think, I think Araujo's got to go. I think he might have to go. Go, go, go. Oh, what a cross, what a goal. And back, hey. <laughs> that, surprisingly, right, if you put lots of power on these... Uh, um the crosses you got you get like oh it goes like driven and it's amazing basically a german cross if you don't know what a german cross is you find loads of tutorials from on youtube they are outrageously broken this guy's pressing like an absolute fool again if we take take a sting out of the game a little bit oh, we're getting a lot of space he's pressing really high i don't think you got many defenders to be honest there you go. Oh, a bit late. Don't worry about it. Oh. No, great interception by Renato. I'm really getting used to Renato now. You can see the way it plays. The wingers come in a bit closer. Not as close as a 4-3-2-1, but close. Oh, referee assault. Right, we're going left. We're going left. Like if that would, that's a red card offence, surely I'm about to pull the trigger. Right, let's go. Is he going to quit? Is he going to quit this early in Elite Rivals? Yes! A free win! <laughs> As you can see, this formation performs at the highest level. He's a foot founder, fair play. He's been playing since the beginning. Um, but yeah, top, top tier formation. Obviously, Mbappe is a joke. This cross is just hold down X and watch the magic happen. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, what was his skill rating? 506. Not too, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, let's get into that bonus content. Elite rival, red player pick. Let's go. Leave it in the comments if you open this elite player pick. We get, come on, someone sick. Oh, it's quite mid again this week. League One Tots player pack from the cup. Leave in the comments who you get from the cup. We get, come on, someone sick. Portugal, left wing back. Oh, I'll take that. A dub for a change. League One Tots upgrade. Let's go.
Leave it in the comments who you get from the TOTS upgrade. We get, come on, someone sick, please. French striker. Oh, it's never striker. Jeez.